Hey, it's Cullen. This is my 1978 Chris Craft Corinthian, and we have a hurricane on the way. Hurricane Ian, this is the real deal. This is not like those other tropical storms I prepared for in the past. Luckily, those came like when I was learning how to do this, so I know how to prepare, how to get ready. But Hurricane Ian is going to do serious damage to Florida, and I need to be ready. I don't have time to produce a full video because I have been extremely busy getting ready. Um, so let's do a quick recap of what I've done. So here we are in the slip. First thing you'll notice is the bimini is down. Uh, that took actually a lot of work to get it completely down. But that gives us about uh, six feet of room if the, uh, the storm surge gets that high. Uh, Hurricane Katrina got about 10 feet. We'll be nowhere near that. Maybe three or four feet is what I'm guessing, but we're ready up to about six or seven feet. And we're ready because we retied these lines. Normally they're tied around these wooden posts, but we retied them to be on these concrete pillars. Not only is that stronger, but they're able to go up with the boat. So if the water level rises that high, I'm able to lift the lines and take care of the boat in real time. And uh, that's another thing is that I'm actually going to be able to stay with the boat. I, I worked with the marina and um, we agreed that that's probably for the best if at least while it's safe, at least um, while the water is below the level of this concrete dock, if I can stay on the boat and if I can help uh, protect the boats around me too, then me being on the boat during the storm as much as possible is the best thing. So, I also got a new power line uh, system because that was just bad. Um, I need to go, I have more lines, I need to get more, I need, need, need to get more fenders, that's what I'm going to do right now. Um, let me show you what's going on inside. And al already, like it is a a big deal to get all the way up here it's not normally that high it's already raining a little bit um, this is gonna be interesting that's the bimini folded down I should probably take these cushions inside before it gets too windy but we're getting there inside I've taken all my plants so it's like a, a tropical <laughs> forest on the inside um, I've just been hunkering down as much as I can um, the I had to swap out the batteries um, because they're going bad I wanted to make sure that they were going to be fine for uh, pumping the bilge pumps I had to do some more electrical stuff really it's just a lot of small things that don't show up well on camera uh, also this is new <laughs> I got this uh, Corinthian badge this is for older um, Chris Craft Corinthians uh, from like the 50s and 60s, but I got it brand new, uh, never been used. Um, it's been sitting in a box for 50 years, so I put that there. But point is, this storm is going to be very interesting, um, and we'll see what comes from it. Just have to be ready and prepared. Don't expect fully produced videos, because... I'm going to be focused on bigger things. I just heard on the radio that it's just shy of a Category 5. Isn't that great? Well, I just got back from uh, West Marine, everyone's favorite scam. But they do come through in a pinch. I got some extra fenders and uh, the actual correct uh, power adapter for this marina. We're going to go put those up. Just as an aside, I should point out that... Um, the marina has been great. They're doing absolutely everything they can to help everybody. Um, not many people are staying behind for obvious reasons. This storm is going to be worst for the Gulf Coast of Florida. It's hitting a little bit south of Tampa, it looks like. And then it's going to um, probably make its way up north following the St. John's River. It's kind of crazy. Um, but, yeah. We'll see. I need to move the cars to a little bit higher ground just in case, but um, we'll see. It's going to be fun. It's going to be interesting, 
and worst case scenario, the ship sinks. If that happens, I am not going down with it. That's, that's just the facts. It's insured. It's just a thing. I am not risking my life for this boat. I am going to be safe and I'm going to live to tell the tale. Uh, not that it's going to be anywhere near that severe, but if it gets there, don't, don't expect any heroics. This isn't a movie. Um, I'm going to do what I can, but that, that has limits.